RobertEarlDigitalAgentShow.com and in this video I'm going to show you the steps required to get your Arizona real estate license. So Arizona has a 96 hour pre-licensing course. This pre-licensing course is divided into two sections. The 90 hour pre-licensing course itself and then Arizona is one of the few states that has a separate contract writing course that you have to take so that this focuses on the sales contract. Makes a lot of sense. A lot of states don't do this. They leave it to the broker to actually teach you the contracting. So Arizona is a little bit different from that standpoint. Now, to go through the 90-hour course, uh, you have to be uh, logged in, whether it be on an online system or a classroom system. When you're going through the 90-hour course, you're going to have to authenticate your identity to that outside vendor uh, so that they can log in and get your information uh, going with this. One thing to note about the Arizona online course is that if you are taking it online, the system's going to keep track of the amount of time that you spend, and it's going to limit you to 10 hours a day. Now, let's translate that. With a 90-hour course, that means that you could be done with the course in as little as nine days and be ready to take that final exam of the course and then the um, actual state-slash-national exam. So you can get it done very, very quickly. A classroom course may have this spread out on the schedule over a further period of time. There's going to be a final exam given with the pre-licensing course, and you have to pass that final exam with a 75% or higher score. Um, so this is going to be a proctored exam, and when you get done with the course, they're going to give you the information as to how that test is going to be administered. If it's classroom, they're going to administer it. If it's a online course, they'll give you information so that you can find a proctor and be able to go through that particular process. When you're done with that, you then are given a certificate of completion. And that certificate of completion allows you to then uh, submit the application with a Pearson View real estate uh, testing center so that you go into the independent testing center to take that national slash state exam uh, for the final portion. When you sign up for the course, if you're signing up for an online course, there is a time period that you have to complete the course, and that is one year. Now, I would not advise you to take the entire year to actually go through and complete the course. This is something that you're going to want to focus on and do sooner rather than later uh, because there's going to be information that you learn in the first sections of the course uh, that you want to make sure that you can recall when it comes to time to the test because this in most cases with the the uh, pre-licensing course it is an exercise to prepare you for passing the final exam so you want to make sure that whatever course you pick whether it's an online course and I have a complete guide to selecting a real estate course and I'm going to include a link to that here in this video um, but whether you're selecting the online course or a classroom course you want to make sure that the program has a exam preparation module or a sample test question module that you can log into, set a time frame, and go through a series of uh, questions uh, so that you're able to uh, pass. Um, if you're passing at home at about a 90-95%, then when you actually go to the testing center, even if you forget some information, if you get nervous, because you will, um, then you're going to be able to go through this information and be able to pass at a 75%. Okay, when you complete the course, you're going to get a certificate of completion, and you want to make sure that you keep a copy of that and that you also have a copy available for Pearson View for the testing center because you have to have that certificate of completion in order to register and sign up for the independent state slash national exam that you have to pass. So now that you've taken the test and you've passed, it's time to make your application with the uh, Arizona Department of Real Estate. And you're going to have to submit in your application, your fee, 
uh, your uh, state exam score report that you're going to get from Pearson View. Uh, you're going to have to go through and provide your pre-licensing certificate, also the certificate of completion for the contracts course. You are going to have to do a, a proof of legal presence uh, on a form, and you're going to have to go through and complete a fingerprint clearance card. Uh, so this is something that you're going to want to make that application. When you're thinking about real estate, when you're thinking about signing up for the course, you're going to have to budget to things. One is the time, but two, because there are time frames that you have to apply within a certain time frame after you've taken the course and then actually apply with the state, you have to think of this from a monetary standpoint as well. And we have a uh, blog post on digitalagentshow.com that shows you uh, what the expected cost would be on a generic level so that you can uh, plan ahead and budget uh, because you won't have all these expenses up front, but they are going to come as you go through every step of the way. Now, a good brokerage can help you with the application. Uh, so I have a complete guide as well, a video, and I'm going to link to that, that shows you not only the steps to getting your real estate license, but how to go through that process, what to do within your post-licensing time frame, and then how to select a broker and the questions to ask that broker. And if you need some help uh, finding a brokerage or a real estate company that's going to help you and provide you with training as a new agent, I've got a link as well on the sidebar at digitalagentshow.com. So there's your steps, 96 hours of courses broken into two parts, your pre-licensing course and the uh, contract section uh, that you're going to have to take. Um, that final exam of the course, so you're going to have two tests, the final exam of the course, and then that independent Pearson View test that you have to go and you have to take, and then you'll be eligible to file your application package, and a good broker can help you with all of those steps uh, to be able to go through. So I hope this has helped you out. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them or reach out to uh, myself at digitalagentshow.com. And until next time, make it a great day.